is an exciting Tuesday night here. Doomsday trailer in uh, the Mellon, Florida, although not quite as exciting as the afternoon. Good Lord. I guess uh, this trailer came through another tornado. Oh, Lord. Here on Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. So, uh, you know, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, what, what the hell do I do with Humpty Dumpty Tribe now? It, it, you know, since that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles, that uh, his evil twin, that would be me, Hambo Little Tail, has kind of uh, taken over at Collapse Chronicles and Hambone has been unleashed on Collapse Chronicles, uh, that means I guess that the performance artist Hambone Littletail j just has to get more Hambone than he was. If Sam Mitchell, the real person Sam Mitchell is getting, more ham-boned than the performance artist Hambone Little Tail has to be kind of like double ham-boned. So uh, I, 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 I don't I don't know uh, what, what what the fuck I'm supposed to do uh, do with all this. But uh, while I'm making up my mind, I, I'm just gonna do what, what I've already done on Humpty Dumpty Tribe years ago. You know, I've, I've reached that stage of my life where I'm no longer having new exciting experiences. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm just going to be that, that boring old fart who goes uh, around repeating stories that he's told before. Uh, because I, I've been doing this for 15 fucking years and, and I've told all the good stories. So I'm just going to start telling them all over again uh, until I die, uh, until I have a good story to tell again. But I enjoyed telling that, uh, that story uh, last night about the first time I accidentally uh, tripped on magic mushrooms and uh, so that started me thinking. I, I have a long history of telling stories about my various uh, drug and hallucinogen experiences uh, that uh, I have enjoyed in my life. Mostly during the Austin years. Uh, most of my, ne nearly all of my hallucinogenic uh, history happened when I was in the process of, of going from becoming a, you know, I was beginning the process of being a successful popular, uh, financially well-to-do, uh, you know, real estate agent and house flipper living the life of Riley in, in Austin, Texas, surrounded by hundreds uh, of my favorite uh, clueless, lovable friends, going to parties uh, five nights a week, uh, having sex uh, with, with a variety of exciting women, uh, you know, that kind of thing, to ending up sitting alone, uh, talking to myself, retelling old stories in a single wide trailer at the end of a rutted out dirt road in, Donnellan, in a swamp in Donnellan, Florida. This is where I have gotten to in 15 years after becoming a doomer, which was the single most, uh, the single stupidest decision I ever made in my life. 
but part of that transition from being, you know, a the the the, the man that ninety five percent of this uh, of the men on the planet would trade their lives to live, which was my life back up to about two thousand seven, you know to ending up to where there, there's a lot of people in, in, in fucking Somalia who would look at my life and say, we'll, we'll take our chances here in Somalia. But a big part of that was, um, you know, was listening to Terrence McKenna, who, among other things, got me in, you know, involved in all of these hallucinogenic, uh, and I don't use the word drugs, I agree with Terrence, these aren't drugs, they are plant-based spirit guides, although we all know that mushrooms are not plants, they're in their own kingdom, but, you know, we're going to call them plants for this, so... Uh, and mainly talking about magic mushrooms, ayahuasca, and San Pedro cactus. And so uh, I, I have already told all these stories. But tonight I think it was, who was it? Was it Kristen? Kristen Rose, was it you who uh, mentioned about the heroic doses of magic mushrooms, which according to Terrence McKenna, a heroic dose of magic mushrooms is five grams of dried, of dried, not fresh, out of the cow pie psilocybin mushrooms. Uh, which, I, I don't know what I honestly don't know how many grams of wet mushrooms equals five grams of dried psilocybin mushrooms. I'm guessing probably 50 grams of, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, I'm talking about five grams of dried psilocybin mushrooms. So I have done... Uh, the heroic dose four times in my life. Four times I have had five grams of magic mushrooms and I'll be goddamned if I can even remember one of them. So you will probably hear something about the other three since I, I remember the first one and I remember the fourth one and I don't remember one of the two in between. So what I'm getting ready to describe is either my second or third uh, heroic dose of, uh, of magic mushrooms. Now, of course, I have no way of knowing, you know what I'm saying, with, with, with that story I told last night, how many grams of dried psilocybin was in that tea. So maybe I've done five, but anyway, uh, as far as I know, I have done five grams four times. So this was the second or third time. So that means this probably happened in, uh, if it's the one I'm thinking of, would have been uh, in the year probably 2009 uh, when, when I did this one. They, so they have this place outside of Austin, Texas, hour, hour and a half southwest of Austin called Enchanted Rock. Enchanted Rock is kind of like, well, you've heard of the big rock in... Uh, in Australia. It used to be called Ayers Rock. Now it has some other name, uh, but that rock. This is kind of Texas, the Texas version of that big rock. It's this big slab of, I think it's granite. And surprisingly, I don't think it's lime, even though it's in Texas, I'm pretty sure it's granite. But it's a big fucking rock. 
okay, a, a big fucking rock or a little mountain, whichever one you call, call it, great place to, to do heroic doses of mushrooms. Bill Hicks has probably mentioned doing mushrooms on, on Enchanted Rock, and you especially want to do this uh, in the full moon, so it was one of the full moons probably in the summer of 2009, although that's kind of irrelevant. So, um, my, uh, my friend who, uh, oh, what will we call this friend tonight, uh, kind of worn out Lulu and Betty Boop, uh, we'll call her, uh, Pollyanna, I guess, for lack of a better word. So, uh, Pollyanna has always, uh, spotted me when when I'm doing heroic a heroic dose of hallucinogens and I spot her and what this means guys if you have never done you know a, a, a big dose of these hallucinogens is that you should have a second person who is experienced themselves and doing hallucinogens, but agrees not to do them so they can stay completely sober, clear-headed, whatnot, in case you have a bad trip. So, you always, especially in the beginning uh, of your hallucinogenic uh, experimenting, you want to have some form of spotter. So anyway, as it usually was the case, Pollyanna was going to be my spotter. So we head out of Austin, we, we, we climb up Enchanted Rock uh, on the night of the full moon. And so what's cool about Enchanted Rock is you can watch, the you go to the top, and you can watch the sunset drop down in the west, obviously, and you turn around and you're watching the full moon rise in the east. So you want to eat those mushrooms right before the full moon drops in the west. So, as always, we with, with with doing these, I, I like to do them right in the crack between the worlds. Uh, so we climb up there in the afternoon and enjoy this beautiful sunset off to the west. So I am sitting there and I eat five grams of these magic mushrooms and Pollyanna completely stone sober. She does not have so much as a nibble of mushrooms or in so much as a hit of weed or a glass of wine. She is stone sober. I eat five grams of mushrooms. As the sun is going down and the full moon is popping off the eastern horizon, the, these mushrooms start hitting my brain. So I don't know. Uh, Let's call it 8 o'clock in the evening. It's not important. So I eat these mushrooms at 8 o'clock. And there begins this absolutely glorious trip. Absolutely. Uh, j j j just euphoric trip. So when you do these things, you got to understand, guys, when, when you eat magic mushrooms, you are putting yourself on a roller coaster ride for for me anyway for six to eight hours you are on a rocket ride and and there and and, and and so just be prepared for a six to eight hour rocket ride so anyway I eat, eat these things about eight o'clock at night right when the sun's going down 
have this absolutely glorious trip. I do remember to this somewhere in the middle of it, uh, we, we had one of these big Texas thunderstorms up there. Absolutely glorious and, and just sitting there uh, in, uh, in this uh, thunderstorm. I, I can't even, I honestly don't remember if I was naked or not. Anyway, I do remember uh, the, in, in the middle of the night this thunderstorm coming out of nowhere and passing on through uh, and, and, and the rain blowing back out and just having an unbelievably glorious night up on the top of Enchanted Rock. And at some point up there, I drifted off to sleep, just lying out there on the rock, just, you know, in absolute ecstasy. I drifted off to sleep, uh, so I don't know if Pollyanna drifted off to sleep next to me. She probably fell asleep. We probably both fell asleep. So I have no fucking clue what time it was when the uh, when we woke up. So we woke up. It was in the middle of the night. It could have been midnight. It could have been 2 a.m. It could have been 4 a.m. No clue what time it was. Who gives a fuck what time it was. It was in the middle of the night. So I get up and stretch and I'm and, and I'm feeling pretty good, but I don't feel like I'm high anymore. I, I feel like that the trip, uh, that, that that the mushrooms have left my brain, and so I'm just back to normal. I'm just a normal a normal ham bun hanging out up there, and so. Polly Ann and I are sitting there, so we're back, the, the rain has passed, the moon's back out, lit up, it's beautiful. So we're sitting up there under the full moon, and uh, thinking about heading back, we were, uh, it's illegal as hell to camp up there, but we were camped out in a little cave. Uh, uh, not far from where I was doing the shroom, so we had to find our way back to our little cave. So I'm walking around up there, we're, we're heading back to the cave, and I look, it's uh, it was looking pretty much due north. And in the sky, I see these lights. There are the, the, these bright white lights up above the horizon. And they're coming right at us. The, 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 these bright white lights totally silent and, and there and, and, and the, this damn thing it's up in the air you know I'm trying to judge how high above the horizon these lights are and uh, and I was thinking I, I mean I was unstoned enough where, where you, when you land in the Austin Airport when you're coming in from California you, you actually can see Enchanted Rock so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking at first what the fuck is that thing and, and I actually said well that's just an airplane that is uh, it, it is coming in to the Austin Airport which meant it should be moving off to the east any minute but it wasn't it was it was coming right towards us, these lights, uh, it's like they were looking right into my eyes. 
and this fucking thing, they, they, these, these lights were getting bigger and bigger, and, and they were getting closer and closer to, to us, and, uh, and, and, and Pollyanna, uh, you, you know, that, that doesn't seem too concerned about it, and I was saying, darling, like, what the fuck? What in the fuck is this? It kind of coming at us. And so it comes like this, and then, boop, it goes out of sight. And like it's coming down for a landing. And, it, and then the lights, they, they come like this, and then they were coming right towards, right towards me, and then, dipped below the horizon well there's kind of a you know we were up on top of the hill so there's kind of this valley down below and it it, it, it was absolutely obvious to me that this fucking UFO had uh, had had landed right at the bottom of the mountain so as some of you know Guys, I have been abducted by space aliens for 22 years. That uh, 22 years, these fucking little space aliens have been chasing me all around the goddamn planet. The, the little fuck, you know the little fuckers I'm talking about. Uh, sending in their goddamn UFOs after me and, 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 and for 22 years dealing with these little fuckers but it was always <clears throat> that I was in a, a you know it was dreaming I was lying in my bed having these things the, these ex, these abduction experiences well I wasn't lying in my bed at this point I was on the fucking top of that mountain and there was a motherfucking spaceship right at the bottom of that fucking hill and uh, I, I knew that at any minute the, these, these fucking little space aliens were, were coming up after me and not just me, but Pollyanna. And, and I get very hyper vigilant when I am on, even on one gram of shrooms, I get extremely hyper vigilant and over protective. Of, of, of people I love and, and, and uh, so I went into full hyper vigilant mode so I knew goddamn well that this fucking UFO I, I had just seen it it was right there it landed in the fucking bottom of the hill I, I had no doubt in my mind that these fucking space aliens were, were, were coming up the fucking mountain I wasn't high at all anymore. I, I obviously did not have any trace of psilocybin left in my bloodstream at this point. So I'm, I, I'm telling uh, Pollyanna, you, you know, darling, we're, we're kind of fucked here that these little motherfuckers are, are, are going to be coming up this goddamn mountain after us to, uh, you know, to abduct us. On, on, on to their goddamn UFO. Now understand, Pollyanna, uh, she has never seen a UFO or a space alien in, his, in her entire life, yet she, more than I, believes in fucking space aliens. She's never had an abduction experience, never seen a UFO, never seen a space alien. She is much more convinced that, than I am that these fucking space aliens are for real. So, uh, she, she starts freaking out saying, we need to, to get back to the cave to, uh, to, you know, to get away from these fucking space aliens. So we're up there on the top of Enchanted Rock looking for, you know, fucking Puff Magic Dragon's cave. And, uh, and, 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 and we're walking down, and then there's this little line of these, this little copse of cedar trees. 
uh, off, off, like off to our left, and we're trying to cut down to the right to get back to our cave, like that was going to do anything. And, and I was 100% convinced. I was 100% convinced that these fucking little space aliens were were there on the other side of this line of trees, you know, like a hundred feet from us. And, 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 and I was fucking pissed. I was ready to kick me some fucking space alien ass. What do you think about that little dog? Uh, would you be kicking the space alien's ass right? So I, I, I was fucking pissed off. And, 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 and I'm telling, uh, I'm telling Pollyanna, like, I, I've been waiting for this moment for 22 fucking years. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to tangle with those motherfuckers. I, I, I'm going to show these fucking little whatever you want to call them uh, who's fucking boss, man. You know, I, I'm looking for a big stick to pick up and shit. And, 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 and uh, Pollyanna is going into absolute fucking freak out mode. So she's a big believer in the Archangel Michael. So Pollyanna, she falls to the ground. I, I'm standing there ready to go kick me some fucking space alien ass. Pollyanna it falls to the ground and, and she's doing, doing this and, and she's praying to Archangel Michael, you know, Michael, blah, blah, and, 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 and having the, this prayer, and, 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 and she's trying to put this, this bubble of green energy or whatever uh, you do when you pray to, to Arch, Archangel Michael, and I'm sitting there going, darling, fuck Archangel Michael. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to deal with these motherfuckers. And, and, and she was every bit as convinced as I was that these fucking space aliens were, 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 were right there uh, on, the, on the other side of these trees. So she's, you know, she, she's down there fucking flipping out about Archangel Michael. And I say, fuck this. I'm going to go kick me some space alien ass. So I, I fucking charged down, uh, charged down uh, the side <laughs> of Enchanted Rock look, looking to kick these, the, these fucking space aliens ass and I come through the trees and there's no space aliens. There, 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 there's no fucking space aliens, there's no UFO, there's nothing except just another piece of rock and I'm going, what the fuck? And I, so I, I, I was a little bit sorry. Because I've been building up for 22 fucking years to kick these space. So I, so I go back up to uh, Pollyanna, uh, you know, praying to Archangel Michael. And I said, well, I, I, I said, I guess we ran the little fuckers off. I, I said, they're not there. She goes, I'm like, what? There's no UFO, no space. I said, there, there, there's, there, there, there's nothing there. Uh, I, I said, we just need to get our ass back to the cave. And uh, so we found our way back to the cave and climb in this little, in, in this little cave, for lack of a better word. And uh, she immediately lies down and, and, and goes to sleep. So she's, you know, she's sound asleep in the fucking cave. And, and, and I'm sitting there, so I climb up on this rock, and, and, you know, in my hyper vigilant state. And I stayed there until the sun came up, waiting for these fucking space aliens that never came. So, anyway, that was my story, and I was sticking to it. How this fucking UFO landed up there. And blah blah blah. So uh, uh, again, uh, just like I did with the story of that pol that police DUI check, tell them that story. So anyway, my friends from Mendocino are visiting, and we and we go camping down in Padre Island, and I tell 
the story. And I'm there with Polly. It says, me and Pollyanna and my friends from Mendocino County, the four of us are down there camping on, on Padre Island. And I proceed to tell that story. This is probably six months after it happened. I'm telling this whole story about this fucking UFO because my, my buddy, he's also seen a UFO. Uh, so I tell this whole story about seeing the fucking UFO and all of this. And, uh, and Pollyanna like breaks in and says, well, actually, she, she says, I never saw the lights in the sky that Hambone saw. And, and I stopped and looked, I said, what? I, I said, you never saw the light? I said, now, and, and of course my friends burst out fucking laughing. This whole story, and here's, and here's my friend that I was there with, praying to Archangel Michael. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? I said, You're, now you tell me you never saw the lights in the sky? And, uh, and, and uh, she goes, well, Ham, I, I, you know, you were, like, 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 you were so convinced. Uh, <laughs> and, oh, my God. Fucking God, and my my friends were howling, laughing like 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 him, man. Uh, you fucking lightweight. Uh, you and your fucking UFOs and your space aliens. They've been hearing about my space alien abductions for years and, and never paid it any attention. Uh, all those years. Uh, that I was getting abducted by space aliens, they would just look at me and roll their fucking eyes. So anyway, obviously, I had to go back to fucking Enchanted Rock. So Polly and Anna and I, we go back to fucking Enchanted Rock to repeat the whole experience, but without the five grams of mushrooms, and, and get up there and repeat the whole evening, find exactly... And we agreed on it. We, we found the cave. We agreed on the exact spot where I was sitting while when, when that fucking UFO landed. And looking in the same direction. And you will be absolutely shocked to hear that as soon as it got dark, I'm looking north. And here come these lights. These two white lights coming straight towards me. And then they reach a certain point and they go like this. And the two lights drop down. They're coming like this, flying right towards me. And maybe it was hard to tell, somewhere about a half mile or so, the fucking lights go like this and blink out. This was a big fucking mystery. What it was, was a fucking pickup truck coming down whatever that highway is, 965 or whatever on his way to Fredericksburg, coming down the fucking road, you know, right in line with us. You couldn't see the horizon in the dark. It was just, it was just a black wall and these two headlights came out and then it dropped down the hill down into the valley and that is when the fucking UFO landed is when the goddamn truck lights. Uh, anyway, uh, Polly Ann and I did. We did enjoy a a big laugh over the whole uh, adventure. 
But, you know, hallucinogens do really spice up an evening. You know, they, they, they can turn a fucking pickup truck full of rednecks into a UFO full of space aliens. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. And I'm still waiting. Still waiting to see a UFO when I haven't eaten five grams of mushrooms. And, uh, just be careful. You, you, you know, whenever you hear stories like this uh, about people seeing UFOs or whatever, uh, the first question, all joking aside, what hallucinogens did you have uh, in, in your brain when you saw this shit? Uh, it explains probably 90% of these damn things. But that was uh, that night that I kicked a space alien's ass. Of course, at some point I will tell the story when I really did uh, kick a space alien's ass for the last time. I, I already told that story. So anyway, guys, I got all kinds of them. What do you want to hear? Do you want to hear my first ayahuasca experience? Uh, I've got the first ayahuasca experience story I can tell. I can have which is the single greatest trip of my entire life. And the night I became a doomsday prophet was my first San Pedro cactus experience, which is mescaline. Uh, so I, will, I can tell you my first ayahuasca. I can tell you my first uh, San Pedro cactus experience. I can tell you when... I was eaten by a bear. Uh, then I've got the whole slew of narrow, uh, narrow misses. I have never been busted in my entire life. Never once have I been busted. But I have some good stories about coming this close to being busted by cops, by, by real cops, not fake cops. For drugs so uh, let me know what stories you want to hear uh, you want to hear Hambone almost gets busted or more hallucinogen experiences I am a, uh, a human uh, drug greatest hits jukebox and I'm going to wrap this one up and go look for UFOs outside while I still can. Uh, my guys.